Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. This video will show you on how to create a simple web tree view and set the tool tip of it. In this sample, we will use installer.xml as a database. In here, installer.xml will contains nodes with path, tag, name, and tool attributes that will used as the field data members when the XML is bound to web tree view. Next, back to default.aspx. Switch to design view and simply drag web tree view to the web form. Then, open its smart tag and create a new data source. Choose XML file as a data source type. Click browse and select installer.xml, which located in app data. After that, click on edit tree node data bindings to open the data binding editor. Choose the available data binding and click add for root and group. Select on root data binding and set the text field to name. Then, select group data bindings and set the text field to name as well. Also, check on auto generate data binding. Click apply and OK. Now, we can save and run the project. In here, web tree views root and child node will automatically be bound to the XML database. Next, back to Visual Studio. Now, we will set a tool tip for web tree view. Open its smart tag and click on edit tree node data bindings to open the data binding editor. Select on root data binding and set the tool tip field to tool. Then, select group data binding and set the tool tip field to tool. Notice that all the option on them is based on the attributes that we had in our XML database. Click apply and OK. Now, we can save and run the project. In here, notice that web tree views root and child nodes will has a tool tip on it, which is retrieved from the tool attribute in our XML database. With simple settings, you can now know on how to create a simple web tree view and set the tool tip of it. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. For further information, you can visit our website at www.intersoftpt.com.